Hi guys, today I am drawing an hyper realistic eye of a half veiled woman with a beautiful fabric around her face. But the main purpose of this video is to get you started with charcoal. If you are a beginner and want to start drawing with charcoal, I am going to tell you here are all the materials and techniques I use. Let's get started. So I have outlined according to the reference picture using Loomis method. If you want to know more about the grid or Loomis method, comment down below. I will make a video on that. Uh, now I am starting with the innermost part of the eye that is the eyeball because that's the easiest. You just have to take your charcoal pencil and shade it pitch black. If as a beginner you are doubting yourself after seeing the final result that would you really be able to draw like this? I would say trust in the process, just go step by step, you will start to see the result eventually. Coming to the outer part, I am shading with 2B and I would say the main secret sauce for drawing with charcoal is blending. I am blending with the blending stub, you can use any material you are comfortable with and now I have to start giving details to the eyes. Looking at the reference picture, I am trying to capture the highlights and the reflections as close as I can. You have to remember that you are referring to a picture. So try to capture the essence of the picture rather than try to add things yourself and making it look like a little unrealistic. I am starting with the eyelashes. Start at the root of the lashes and gradually flex your pencil or charcoal. Towards the tip, keeping the direction of the lashes in mind which is very important. This method helps the lashes look connected. Also draw the lashes in layers moving around the eye, adding more as you go around. Do the same to the eyebrows. Lightly sketch using the charcoal pencil moving to slightly darker strokes during the process. I am also using the brush to blend the eyelashes to give a blending effect and look connected to the eye and not look individual.
side tip is also that if you want to make your eyes look more realistic you should draw veins shade around the eye and also on the sclera that is the whitish part of the eye to make it more realistic so i have not done in this eye myself because i am following the reference picture and which does not have a uh, vein so i avoided that but you can see my previous work where i have drawn veins and uh, it looks actually more realistic if you draw veins and sclera and shade around the eye with that for eyebrows first make sure that your strokes are fairly thin i always try to keep my pencil as sharp as possible for each stroke i know sometimes out of laziness we draw with the blunt pencil but you will see individual hair strokes getting blurred and mixed and you will not get that type of result for the eyebrows but there is a second reverse technique that you can try out for drawing eyebrows so you can see first i have filled the eyebrow area with charcoal powder and now i am adding details of eyebrows using mono zero eraser i applied th this technique because i could see a lot of black spaces in the eyebrow and i could i knew that i could use the reverse technique here also so that it doesn't look like such a block shape and you will have also little sparse hair underneath and on the upper side of the eyebrow as well i made sure i did some straggling hairs on the bottom and upper side of the eyebrow to give it a more realistic look So here comes my most favorite part which is to draw details of the fabric and you know bring out its natural look you can see how i am capturing the minute details of the fabric but i really think that not everyone likes to draw these minute details and it really depends on an individual's perspective uh, and you can give another creative look to create another kind of uh, you know fabric but i like to add details and you'll see the final look what you know has come out and you'll i think i like that but you can try another look
if you want a printed postcard kind of effect to your painting when it is finally done you can use a taped mask that is a tape to you know cover your painting and look how beautifully it turns out when it is removed it is it gives a really good effect so that was the final look if you are new to this video i record my sketching and painting process so that we can all benefit and get inspired by each other's work thank you for watching